So early humans as hunters uh, for a living. So best of luck. So let's talk about if humans had to catch uh, live prey for a living. Uh, and I'm not talking with rifles and guns and all that type of stuff, but humans as a creature, how would we have done? We did not have the endurance for long hunts, uh, which as we know, were mostly unsuccessful. Uh, only one in four were successful and were universally precious energy draining. Uh, any decent meal on the hoof was much faster than us, much bigger than us, and typically more dangerous than us. Old Bessie the cow wasn't around yet. Uh, and of course, the prey could, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, the prey uh, could smell better, hear better, see better, all of those things. So it's, in other words, uh, from a uh, biological uh, anatomical standpoint, they were everything they were doing, their senses, their physicality, they were much better at that stuff than we were. But okay, let's just say by some miracle, piece of luck, uh, we bagged the wildebeest. Uh, okay, so then what? So imagine here we are, we've got a wildebeest that we've got, got it on the ground here, what do we do? Uh, we are now some distance from home because we've had to chase it. Uh, where the wife and kids were, mostly it was ma males of the species doing the hunting, uh, uh, hope they are not too hungry, the wife and the kids, because the food is a long ways away. So what do we do? First, we ate our fill. We're starved, probably. Okay. But then how do we get the rest, the bulk of it, in other words, back to the family and friends without it spoiling, uh, losing it to a true carnivore, or worse, becoming a meal for that carnivore? Because we're not moving very quick carrying... Uh, the the hide or the bulk of a carnival of a wildebeest we just killed right uh, and quite frankly I don't know so wildebeest fun facts so uh, very prevalent uh, uh, prey animal uh, in Africa right average weight two hundred forty to forty pounds right average human one hundred and fifty uh, typical height forty six inches pretty tall and that's on four legs by the way. Top speed, 50 miles an hour. Remember Usain Bolt, top speed, 23. Pathogens, likely they had lots of them. Uh, disposition, as you can see from the portrait there, nasty, especially when they were chased. And those horns are not made out of Play-Doh. Those are anatomically designed and made of material meant to protect themselves. 